In this video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite ESD settings, Screensaver. Screensaver is pretty cool. It essentially, is a really simple way to discover new games in your library, plus it saves your screen. Um, so let's go through some of the settings first, and then I'll show you what it looks like after. So at the top here, there's a Start Screensaver After Minutes option, and that essentially sets how long the device needs to be idle before Screensaver starts. I currently have mine set to two minutes, but you could use this slider here to set it to a shorter amount of time or a longer amount of time. And then there's a screensaver type option here. Now in type, there's four types. Dim, essentially just dims the screen. Black, essentially blacks out the screen. And the two more interesting ones are slideshow and video. We're gonna start with video first because that's what it sets to default. And then enable screensaver controls is important to have on because this is what enables you to navigate through the screensaver once it's open. Let's go down to screensaver for video screensaver settings. And in here, there's some additional settings. First is swap videos after seconds. If you have it set to zero, then what that essentially means is the video length will play all the way through until it moves on to the next one. But could you also set it to a specific amount of time so it only says every video is only 10 seconds and it's custom off at that point? That's an option. I like it set to zero. And then you also have options to include only your favorite games. I usually turn that off because I want to discover games in my library. And then you have some other options that you should never check, <laughs> such as stretch video to screen resolution. Um, display video game and play. This is actually pretty helpful. This shows the name of the game and the system it's from when the video is playing, so you get a good sense of what it is. And then render scan lines is pretty neat because it displays a scan line filter. And blur essentially blurs the video ever so slightly. So let's go back and see what this looks like. So from system view, you could always trigger the screensaver by pressing the screensaver button. And that's indicated in the help system below. So if I press that, you can basically see here, it starts the screensaver up. And now as I navigate through, it's gonna randomly select a game from the library to play next. And if I go back, it's also gonna randomly select the game to play next. And what's neat here is on any game, I could press this button here to start it up automatically. So if you want to just find a really quick way to find the new game, Screensaver is where it's at. Let's go back. All right, let's open up Screensaver again. And yeah, if you're in here, if you want to exit out, you could press down or basically any other button here. The bottom button takes you into the game and the top button here takes you to that game in the game list automatically. So it's another way to essentially get more information about a given game as well. And that's essentially an overview of the controls. So let's go back into the settings and let's look at slideshow. Let's go down here to screensaver. And in screensaver, I'm gonna set this to slideshow and then I go into slideshow settings so you can see what we have. Similar concepts here, you have the option of setting the swap time for each image. Right now I have it set to two seconds and I'll show you why in a minute. You could also choose to only include favorite games. And you should never do this, but you can stretch images to screen resolution. Um, and again, displaying game info overlay shows the title and the system of the game on top of the image. It's pretty neat. And then you could also render scan lines on top of the video. And I'm going to get to this one in a second. This is pretty neat using custom images. But before I do that, let's turn that off and then just look at what happens with images. So you can see here, it shows the mix image, and basically is a really quick way to kind of go through all the games in your library. And again, you can navigate through this as well. If you find a game you like, you could press the X button there, and it takes you right to it. So the last thing that's kind of fun is custom images. And this essentially allows you to set a set of images you want to automatically scroll through on the screensaver that are not game specific. So if I open up screensaver settings here, Go to slideshow settings, and then use custom images. Essentially, this is gonna allow you to put images in a given folder, and then the slideshow is gonna navigate through them automatically. So in this case, there's a custom image directory, and the default location for it is ESDE slash screensavers slash custom slideshow. And I put a fun one on here for now just to test this out. So if I press the screensaver button, 
<laughs> basically we have the DVD logo. And all this is, is this is a set of like around 300 different images, but it'll cycle through automatically and randomly throughout the, until I decide to turn it off. So yeah, that's screensaver in a nutshell. Really cool feature in ASDE. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks so much.